Hi, I'm Brigham Larson with Brigham Larson Pianos. I want to show you a, uh, a job that I just did on this piano just yesterday. It took me about seven hours total. And this is a fairly unique repair. Not a lot of guys do this. Um, and uh, yeah, I just thought it would be a perfect opportunity for a, uh, for a video. So what happens on a lot of old pianos is, uh, is the bridge, this is the bridge, this is what the strings go over, it gets all torn out. Um, this was right there. What happens, have, have a look over here just to kind of get your bearings. The strings, all of that side bearing on those strings, eventually over time it, it uh, tears the, these um, bridge pins out of the wood that, the, that, is, that is the bridge. And that's what happened here. You can see there's all of these that tore out and all of this that is missing here it was it was in pieces. I think I throw those away. I don't know where those are. Anyway, it was it was kind of hanging off to the side, and all of this right here is some other technician that um, had done this. Apparently, they took took off a number of bass strings and then and then kind of filed down this front part so that the termination point isn't up here, but it's back there. And they put in like little nails or something um, so that there was a new termination point. But then that was probably in the 19. 80s or something who knows and since then the the uh, damage extended all the way to there and you can see some cracks in the in this other these other spots where it's extending so I just decided that rather than trying to epoxy this which is which is what I've done before um, when uh, when the damage isn't quite so bad I can put epoxy in there and kind of make it one unit again and then drill new holes and then you've kind of got a another I don't know, good 20 years or whatever. But sometimes, like in this case, the damage is so bad, just gotta redo the, redo the, uh, the, the bridge cap altogether. So that's what I did. It took me, like I said, about seven hours. Um, and this is one of my sons right here. Are you helping in the shop today, I'm Josh? In the shop today. <laughs> so, uh, so, so basically, um, well, I, and I should mention, this, this year I'm in charge of the technicals for my local chapter of the Piano Technicians Guild and I ended up documenting this whole project so this is going to be a, a class and actually people have expressed interest in learning how to do this, some of the other technicians, so I'm going to be teaching this as a class in the, in the next chapter meeting. So uh, just a quick, a quick rundown, I took the, uh, took the bass strings off, that's the bass strings sitting there to the side and then, um, and then there are screws under here on the other side of the soundboard. Took those off. It's still glued, just kind of with a chisel. Worked it um, for I don't know five or ten minutes until finally it popped off. Took this off. Saw that. Saw the old bridge cap off. This um, got an identical piece. Oh, and then before that, I, I made a, a pattern of these bridge pins. Sawed that off. Um, made it. Got, got new bridge capping material, basically found all the right dimensions so it's, it's exactly the right height. Um, and yeah, glued it, made, made, made it a perfect mating, glued it, put on, put on this black stuff, put on the, drilled the holes at 30 degrees. Um, anyway, yeah, chiseled, chiseled all the sides, made it, look, made it look nice and smooth and nice. And then put the pins in and, and I, I glued it last night. Now all I have to do is is put on the on the bass strings. So kind of a kind of a fun repair. Um, not something not something I do every day, but but you know I, I really enjoy this kind of this kind of variety when I can get.